Greetings, beloved in Jesus' name. Uh, we said it, now we see it. And now you can see now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven posts are up. Uh, we have to have the total 34. 34 posts. But more fella, it's like a kicker, a pocket in the very cold. It's a fight. You can have a change. Are you a prince? But now we still have other holes going that side. Now, what I'm trying to say, Gorm Jimu, I is a favorite, and we are watching. We said before Easter something would be happening here. And one, one thing I want to teach you is the power of confession. When you when you want to see it, you must say it, say it, say it, say it. And never check your your bank account. You must check your faith account. <laughs> sure. We don't speak from our budget, we speak from God's budget. Now, I'm encouraging somebody, really, really, really. What is happening here, it's, it's a miracle. It's a, it's a testimony, it's a, it's a living testimony. I don't have even to say many things. I want you to see. It's really, really happening. the Lord and I want you to to believe God. You remember one time I was here, it was just an open space and we had a, it was just an open space and we we had a, a video and the, there was nothing here. But now there is something. But there was a times when I used to come here like a reggae and we have prayers. I think we'll, we'll, a Prince will visit those old messages. Yes, yes, yes. Where we used to come and just say, "This is the house of God." Mm. Prosperity, you speak success, you create success. But now the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. Yes. Now, you, so now you must catch that revelation, which means God is in the business of feeling your heart so that when you can speak from your heart. Uh, uh, when you open your mouth, you are you are spilling over what is in your heart. Now, if you are carrying the word of God in your heart, whatever you say, the Bible says, if you have faith, doesn't say if you have friends, it doesn't say if you have money, doesn't say if you have a job, it says if you have faith as little Aye. as a mustard seed. The Bible says you can begin to say to the mountain, to the mountain, even to this mountain. Which means the mountain must be so close. It doesn't say that mountain, it says this mountain. Oh. Now, mountains move better when they look like they are closer. Bishop. <laughs> the closer the mountain, the easier the mountain. Oh. Because when it is closer, the Bible says, I think in the book of Zachariah said, Who are you, O mountain, before Zerubbabel? And when Caleb was eight years, he said, From 40 years, the Lord has been with me. He said, Give me another mountain. You know, Caleb, in the, in the time where he's supposed to resign, he, he, he requested the mountain. I'll go to Patab. Pentab. Bagamuna Molu Tufet and Kopatab. And when you want to see things 40 years back, he's going to help me now. The same God who sustained me is going to sustain me again. Now, 
I'm, I'm standing here to say to you, maybe you are a pastor, maybe you are, you are anyone, you are, you are believing God for something. I normally say before the results from God, you must enjoy the insults from men. Oh. Before the results from God, you will have to encounter insults from men. A man who believes God must be doubted by people sometimes. <laughs> the Bible says Jesus Christ is the stone that was chosen by God, but it was rejected, rejected by men. men. Now, sometimes the things God chooses, some men must reject. Oh, sure. <laughs> because sometimes being accepted by men can be the sign that you are rejected by God. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes be rejected by men. It's a sign that you are chosen. Right? But, but here's the power. The Bible says, "One, the stone that was rejected by men, God chose it to become the chief, not the stone." Which means hate turn a stone to a chief. <laughs> Which means men's hate provoke God to turn what they hate into a chief cornerstone. Oh. I believe without saying any pride, we are building one of the biggest church in this city. Yes, Bishop. We are building one of the biggest church in this city. Yeah. And uh, the Bible says in the book of John chapter 2, Jesus came to the, the wedding in Cana. He went away drinking wine. After the wine was finished, they went to, he, to Mary and Mary said to him, whatever you say, you must do. But the Bible says, he said, you must bring to me six jars, six jars of water. And he turned that water into wine. And he gave it back. Here's the power. They brought water. Jesus gave them wine, but Jesus never drank that wine. <laughs> <laughs> Now, there is nothing that God asks from you that is for him. Yo, Bishop. <laughs> he, 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 whatever he's asking from you is for you. Yeah. But he wants it colorless. He wants it tasteless so that he can bring it be colorful and tasteful. tasteful. <laughs> Aye. Aye. <laughs> now, which means he took it as water, mm. but he brings it back as wine. Yo. But now the question in the address again. The Bible says, when the people who attended the feast started to uh, help him out, man, not the wine, yes, they asked sure. a question. They said, in other feasts, we normally get the best wine first. <clears throat> oh. And later then we get the bad wine. But here, we started with the bad wine. But we are ending, I have said, oh, with Aye. the best wine. Aye. And I want to say to the church, it doesn't matter what happened when we started. Be sure. Be sure. <laughs> we, we may have started with the bad wine. Aye. But we are entering with the bad Aye. wine. Aye. Be sure. <laughs> yeah. Because God will always save the best for last. Aye. We bring and Joref, but for the night. For the night. But joy. Aye. Now, here, now there are normally two dimensions. Right. Weepings and joy. Joy comes. Oh. Joy doesn't enjoy it. It comes. Oh. You don't invite it. It comes. Oh. But it doesn't come anytime. It comes in the morning. Be sure. But now the power is that what you have been doing during your time of crying determine what you're going to do in your time of harvest. Oh. Now which means every time there is a season of crying it's a it's a prerequisite for the season of laughing Whoa. now i said to people on the facebook before i came here i said the devil is not attacking you because you are weak he's attacking you because you are a threat okay <laughs> yeah See? a threat and i want you from Ooh. now on to look at it as well if i was nobody why the enemy is after me? Oh. If, if I was carrying nothing, why the devil is after me? Why Herod was attacking Jesus? Not because Jesus was weak. Jesus was a baby, but yes. 
Herod felt that Jesus is a threat. Be sure. Now, once you threaten hell, hell attacks you. Oh. Eh? But now go back to the Bible in Isaiah 59, verse 9. But when the enemy shall come, we were attacked in the shack. Oh. We are landing in the auditorium. Be sure. Aye. Now, hundred we must say to the enemy, thank you for attacking for us. For attacking us, yes. <laughs> thank you for coming against us. Thank you for praise. Our Aye. emotion, it was hidden in the attack. Be sure. And now here's the power. The Bible doesn't say when the enemy shall come, God will stop the enemy. Say, it doesn't say God. No, God will deal with the enemy. It says God will raise up your standard. Go. Now listen to this power. God is not interested in what's attacking you. Yes. He's interested in where he's taking you. Go. Uh, Be sure. <laughs> come on, can I say that again? God is not interested in what is attacking you. He is more interested in where he is taking you. Go. <laughs> because where, where God is taking you is greater than what is attacking you. Go. Yeah, the problem is when you focus on the attack and you miss the take. The take. Shut oh. up, <laughs> uh. and, 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 and he says that the spirit of the Lord, not any man, not mm -hmm. the spirit of the Lord will raise. Not you. Sometimes God is not even raising you, He's raising your standard oh. while you are still where you, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. In the shack and raise your standard. Yo! Bishop, I, while you are still in the shack. Yeah. People see you down there, but they don't know that your standard he has been raised. Yo! Now, the coincidence between when the enemy shall come, which means sometimes God will wait for the enemy to come. Mm. Why will God want the enemy to come? Listen, when you go to the book of Daniel, in chapter 3, the Bible says there were three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they were, they were thrown into the fire. I want you to listen to this, to what they said. They said to the king, Our God whom we serve, they don't say he can, they say will, will, save will us. deliver us. Yeah. Because he's not bound to deliver us. It is in his will. Oh. He will, if he wants to. He will deliver us from this fire. But they continue and say, now, but even, even if, if, I, even if he choose not, oh. <laughs> even if he choose not to deliver us, the Bible says, but it shall be known. Now, here's the part. When God wants to deliver you, Sometimes he confuses the enemy so that the enemy must think that God is delaying. Oh. Sure. Because once these guys bury, even if he does not, the mm. enemy thought they were doubting. When he comes, then the spirit raised the star. Sure. Sometimes we must act as if we are we are losing. Oh. Sometimes we must act as if we are defeated. Sometimes we must act as if it's out of the control. Until God is in control. Oh. I want to say to you, we, we, we give God the glory and we honor God for what he's doing. And we are humbled. And we are not even arrogant. We are very humbled. We are humbled and we are not even arrogant. Yeah. Okay. Now we bless the Lord. Now, guys, let me see this man and I'll, I'll talk to you. Daddy? Oh, you around, let me. Okay. <laughs> oh, you are watching live. <laughs> oh, we are still live, Bishop. Oh, let me go. Just go straight. <laughs> we are still live, Bishop. <laughs> Look at life as if the bishop is on the side. <laughs> <laughs> no, just yeah. The saints who are watching. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> no, bless you. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> no, I'm in my I'm in my, in my house then oh. Yeah, you see the life and you say no then let me, you, let me, me grab my head. <laughs> ah yeah yeah. Hey Let's do my lead. Let's just say thank you. The stone which has uh, rejected by me. Yay! It's now chief cornerstone. Hey! Hey! Hey man! Hey! 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 In the mighty, precious, and glorious name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that it is why you want us to build in this church here. Father God, we honor you and we glorify your majestic name in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi, my guy. Hi. Nice no, this is powerful. Sure.